Well, joining me now from Salford is the former head of the Crown Prosecution Service in the North West and the lead prosecutor on child sex abuse, Nazir Afzal. Uh, Mr Afzal, are you surprised first by these figures on the number of suspects? No, definitely not. When I left Greater Manchester, we had a, one operation with more than 200 suspects. And having my national responsibilities, I knew that there were thousands of suspects around the country and thousands of victims. So this is, as somebody said in your piece, the tip of the iceberg. Victims are coming out all over the country and offenders are being caught all over the country. Well, the vast majority of child sex abuse offenders across the country are British white men. Uh, in this Rotherham scandal, the National Crime Agency says that the majority of suspects, and I quote, are of Asian appearance. What do you make of that? Um, I've, I've, I gave evidence to Parliament about this some years ago. The reality is that where you have uh, street grooming of the type that we're talking about in Rotherham, as we did in Rochdale and Oxford and other parts of the country, Asians and Pakistanis are disproportionately involved in this. I've tried to understand it myself by looking at the demography, looking at the nighttime economy, uh, and I've asked for several people to carry out some research and correlations into what's happening. The reality is, though, that in, in street grooming, Asians are disproportionately involved. And, uh, and that's an issue not just for the authorities, it's an issue for the communities. So you'd agree with you know, what seems on the face of it a pretty bold statement by uh, Sarah Champion, the local MP, the Rotherham MP. She says there's very clearly a problem in Rotherham with Pakistani males. We need to deal with that head on and ethnicity should have no bearing on the law. Absolutely Do you agree right. with that? Sarah's absolutely right. Um, the law should be blind to colour and ethnicity and religion. The reality is these men aren't driven by their ethnicity or their religion or their colour. They're driven by the fact that they want power and control over young girls. The fact is, however, when it comes to street grooming, Asians are disproportionately involved. But as you said, the most child victims are victims in the home or institutions or, on the, or, or in online. And they, they will be perpet perpetrators there will be white males. But... Let's say it again, Asians and Pakistani men are disproportionately involved in street grooming. And as a British Pakistani Muslim yourself, are you worried about taking such a robust stance on this? No, I brought the Rochdale prosecution. I led nationally on these prosecutions. Uh, it's absolutely essential that the Muslim community, the Pakistani community, carry their own stick and deal with these issues. These perpetrators have been allowed to get away with it for far too long, sadly, and victims have suffered for far too long. And my point is that justice delayed is better than justice denied. And when you hear the NCA say that uh, two under investigation are serving all former councillors, we know that there are allegations against police officers as well, how confident can you be that there's not going to be another establishment cover-up as we've seen in so many other uh, investigations in the past? Well, I'm optimistic, uh, Kathy, because things have changed over the last three, four years. Historically, yes, there probably have been conspiracies. There certainly have been cover-ups. The reality is, though, that the NCA, all the specialist officers, specialist prosecutors, are determined to bring people to justice now. And I'm confident that they will do their job. But it's absolutely essential they provide support to the victims here because too many of them have never had any faith in the authorities. They now need to be given that support through this trial process, through the prosecution process. Nazir Afsal, thank you very much for joining us.